Yes! Yes, we did it. Let's go! Credits, baby! All right. All right, first things first. The bottom center of the screen says that we've beaten 65 games in 2024 and 512 since we started doing this in 2020. Lies! We've now beaten 66 games in 2024 and 513 since we started doing this in 2020. Let's go. All right, let's talk about the ups and downs of Tales of Iron. Uh, so I put this on my list for two reasons. Number one, it's on the Wikipedia list of Souls-likes. I never saw a trailer or anything. I just said, oh, okay, it's a, another Souls-like or a Souls-like adjacent. Let's play it. I've enjoyed pretty much every one of those games. And the second reason was because I heard there was a sequel coming out later this year, and so I wanted to get this one done first. And uh, so I didn't know anything other than it was, it was considered by at least some to be a Souls-like. And... Um, I see it. It's got a sprinkling of Souls-like, just really just in the combat, in, in its very slow, deliberate, and any single enemy can kill you if you're not paying attention, you know? Um, but that's about it. There's no corpse run, there's no universal currency for leveling up your character, there's no bonfires, there's no, there's no, uh, you know, all, uh, all of that stuff that you would normally see in a Souls-like, none of that stuff is here. Um, it's, it's really just the slow, deliberate combat. So it, it's very, if it, if it's, if it's considered a Souls-like, it's souls light. Very. Um, and, uh, so playing it, I honestly, it's it's more of a Metroidvania than a Souls-like. I realize that nowadays people can consider those to be both, like if you play like Hollow Knights or Blasphemous or whatever, but to me those games are more Metroidvanias than Souls-like. And, and this really isn't that much of a Metroidvania either, but it's just like the Souls-like. It's got a little bit of Metroidvania sprinkled in. Um, it's really just more of mostly a linear mostly linear just slow deliberate combat kind of a game with some excellent boss fights and i'm a fan of that kind of game that's great uh i i thought the game did a really good job with the basics the combat is clean it's fair the hit boxes are all where they're supposed to be uh every boss none of the bosses in this game are a pushover i'm not sure there was even one i killed on my very first try there might have been one or two, but um, usually they took several attempts, and some of them took dozens of attempts. A couple of them, uh, and they were so they were really tough, but in the best way. Um, very every time I would die, I would understand why I died and what I needed to do better. It was never a question of not understanding the boss or not understanding the mechanics of the game. It was always a question of me not being fast enough. Like, why am I not reacting to this tell fast enough? That kind of stuff, and I like that kind of boss. That Every, you know, especially early in the game, every boss is teaching you to get a little bit better at the game. You know, a good Souls-like does that really well. And this, I wouldn't really call this a Souls-like, but a, a, for a tough game with good combat mechanics, this game does a good job of teaching you to get better, especially with the first half of the bosses. Uh, I thought it was really, really a good game altogether. Um, again, I think the combat was... Uh, the best part, uh, especially the boss fights. The boss fights were really tough, um, but they were a lot of fun. There were enough mechanics in the combat to be interesting without being overwhelming. Just enough, you know, you had you had a, a light attack, a heavy attack, you have a gun or a, a ranged weapon, uh, you have um, and you have a, a healing system that's a lot like Hollow Knight. And um, and it all worked very well together. The other, the second thing that I really liked a lot about this game was the um, the uh, art style and the story. It was all uh, the the story is as basic really as it gets, but it was a lot of fun. It was very fairy tale ish, and you know it was easy to follow and it was interesting. You know well, that's where a lot of Souls likes drop the ball is they make these really weird stories that don't really make a lot of sense and maybe the lore's really deep, but you have to like read some other Wikipedia article to even understand what you're looking at. This game isn't like that at all. It's very straightforward. It's very basic, but it is interesting. It has a lot of, you know, heart. It has a lot of character. Um, the third thing that I really liked, um, and, the, and the art style complemented that fairy tale feeling well. Uh, the third thing that I really liked was the gear progression, which 
surprised me a little bit because it's very simple. It's it's just you're finding different weapons as you go. Sometimes they drop off bosses. Sometimes you find them in chests. Sometimes they're just lying on the ground. And uh, there's only a couple stats. It's just damage and weight. That's all that you have to to think about. So it's not very complex, but th there was still, they drip feed you enough weapons that you're constantly, pretty much consistently improving your your gear. And it's not just your weapon, but it's also your armor has defense and weight. And then your, def your uh, armor also has a third stat, which is like a elemental resistances. But in this game, it's bre like species resistances, frog, mole, grub, and maji, which is like the flies. Um, and so... You know, there's a little bit of deliberation when it comes to what your build, you want your, your gear to be, but it's really straightforward. But it was still really satisfying because you're very often picking up things that are better. You know, oh, pretty much every, you know, every 20 or 30 minutes, it's like you're getting a new weapon or a new piece of gear, maybe even more often than that, that's just slightly better than what you had before. Or maybe it's a little bit better, but it's a lot heavier, and so you have a decision to make. That was really fun. I really, really enjoyed it. It was about as basic as it gets, but it was still a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of like the story. Uh, just pretty basic, but it nailed the basics. It had The, the foundation was there, so I, I really, really liked that. Um, as far as critiques go, um, the platforming wasn't very good. The, the platforming was a little janky. Um, if you hit the jump button while you were like on a ladder, it would jump way too far or like you didn't, you couldn't, you didn't, you didn't have any control over the length of your jump. So it made, uh, some, some of the, like there were not that many, but there were some platforming sections and I wish those just didn't exist at all. Uh, because they, they, with the, with the controls for platforming in this game, they just weren't fun. Uh, it was just very, it was very, uh, ham fisted, uh, platforming controls. So I, I didn't really enjoy any of the platforming stuff at all. Again, there's not that much. There's a lot more in most Metroidvanias, but there was a little bit and that none of it was fun to me. Um, there were a couple of bugs, notably at the end, there was this horrible audio bug that drove me nuts. But the good news is I just restarted the game and it went away. So that wasn't that big of a deal. A um, couple of little audio things like the audio would cut out uh, randomly, like the music would stop for no reason, stuff like that. But it was really just a couple of times. It wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I thought the uh, format of like the map and fast travel system could have been better. I never figured out a way to see the map all at once. I'm not sure there is a way. Like, if I wanted to look at the map in a different region to be like, if I'm thinking like, where are the areas I haven't tried to look yet? I maybe you can, but I couldn't figure out a way to see a map for other regions. I could see my my map, and then if I went to the fast travel, I could see the world map. But I, if I wanted to look at a different region, I had to be in that region. So that that was weird. I thought the map uh, that that could have been better. Um, the um, just the format of the way that the, the the map was laid out and some of the items and stuff and places that you had to go were laid out. There was a lot of backtracking that you had to do. Not a lot, but there was a fair amount of backtracking that you had to do where there were no fast travels. And so you just had to retread some, some areas and, and it was boring. Um, I've noticed that a lot lately in Metroidvania type games where there's a lot of backtracking and you've already killed all the enemies or gotten all the stuff. So you're just walking back through it. Um, they, I think they could have done a better job with the fast travel system, but this is nitpicks. I, I mostly was really impressed with this game. I thought it was very, very good. And, and again, the combat was what really drove it, but the story and the art style was cool too. And, um, the gear progression was really fun. I'm very excited to see where they take the, the sequel. Uh, if they're going to basically just do more of the same, which would be fine with me, or if they're going to try and improve on the formula at all. I think there, uh, uh, there are some areas for improvement. If I, if what I would like to see in the sequel is better platforming controls, better just movement controls in general. Um, uh, I thought that they were, they were really awkward. And so that would be better. Um, maybe some more interesting stats on loot, maybe a leveling system 
There's no leveling system in this game. Maybe if you if you uh, threw in something like that for stats like defense or max health, you know, nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of basic stuff here and there that would be nice. Other than that, though, I mean, if I if they if Tales of Iron Two comes out and it's just exactly like this but a new area, I'd probably be perfectly fine with it. And like new new interesting bosses and stuff like that, just more of the same. I would be fine with it. I really really enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun. All right, last order of business. This uh, uh, Tales of Iron, it's been fun, but um, we are now going to delete you from our console and never play you again. Bye. Thank you. Love you.